Hello everyone. So today Chetna Ma'am is welcoming you all in Learning Science with Chetna, and today we are going to learn about one of the very important topic, and that is fertilization. Before coming to the point, I always tell you about that we should know about the topic, the meaning behind it, and what is that process. So this fertilization is actually the fusion of male and female gametes. Again, I am repeating, the fusion of male and female gametes is known as fertilization. And what is this gamete? This, this gamete is actually the sex cell. Okay. Now, I have already explained you in my previous session about the structure of flower, right? About the pollination and today we will be studying about fertilization. Okay. But... If you don't have time, then need not to worry. I will quickly recapitulate all the topics and then we will be explaining fertilization. Now, see the structure of flower. It has four whorls. The first one, the outermost is calyx. Okay. The sepals is known as calyx. Corolla, the second whorl and that is petals. Okay. The third is androsium and it comprises stamen. And stamen is the male part. Now look at this structure, the structure of stamen. Now see, it has two parts. The upper one is anther, the lobed one, and the lower one is filament. That anther produces pollen grain. Okay, now coming to the this part. Yes, this was about the stamen. Now coming to the fourth whorl, that is gynaecium. Gynaecium uh, comprises of one or more pistils. Pistil is the female part. Now look at the structure of pistil. Yes, the upper stigma, then style and the swollen part is ovary. The swollen part is ovary and ovary inside that or we can say ovule, one or more ovules are enclosed in the ovary. So stigma, style, then ovary and then inside that ovary is ovule, there can be one or more ovules. Okay, so now we have to study about fertilization and how it initiates pollination in the process of pollination. What we have studied? We have studied the transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the flower. You can again recapitulate through this diagram. The pollination is transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the flower. Now pollen gra grains has reached the stigma of the flower. Now we have to learn how this fertilization takes place once the pollen grain reaches the stigma of the flower. Okay, so before explaining you this, I would like to explain you the structure of ovule and also the structure of pollen grains so that it will be very clear in your mind about how the process begins. Okay, now see the structure of ovule first. Yes. Inside the ovule is the embryo sac. Inside that, you see three upper side, the antipodal three cells are present. In between, polar nuclei is present. You can see in the picture. And downside also, three cells are present. The mid cell, the beach mein cell, hai, that is the egg cell. Or the side mein hai, these are the synergies. Okay? Now, we have to basically understand about the in between there is the polar nuclei okay and downside there is egg cell because we will see in the fertilization these two are only involved in the process of fertilization okay so just concentrate on the polar nuclei okay and the egg cell now polar nuclei it is written over there 2n why it's 2n N that is haploid. Adha. Iska matlab hai single set of chromosome. 2N that is diploid. Two set. And 3N this is triploid. Okay. You have to just understand each terms. Now see. Why it is polar nuclei? It is written 2N. Actually two cells. Division ke same. Ye jo do cells hai. Wo divide nahi huye hai. Aur wo ek dousre se attach hai. Okay, so एक का n और दूसरे का n इसीलिए हम two n लिखते हैं polar nuclei को look at this picture yes okay so that's why it is two n polar nuclei और x cell it is n 
Okay, XL it is N. Now the structure of ovule is clear. Okay, now we have already seen the structure of ovule. Now coming to the structure of pollen grain. Now look at this structure. Yes, inside the pollen grain, you can see the vegetative cell and the generative cell. Okay, the vegetative cell inside the vegetative cell is the vegetative nucleus. Okay, inside the generative cell, there is generative nucleus. Now, why, what are the use of these cells? Now, vegetative cell helps in produ production or we can say helps in development of pollen tube. Vegetative cell. Now coming to generative cell, generative cell of pollen grain, it helps in formation of male gametes. Again I am repeating, the pollen grain, you can see the structure. Inside that there are two cells, the vegetative cell, vegetative cell is responsible for developing the pollen tube. Generative cell produces the male gametes. Okay, now, yes, now, when the pollen grain lands on the stigma of the flower. Now look at this structure. Yes. Now the pollen grain when lands on the stigma of the flower. Then the vegetative cell I told you about uh, that it helps in the development of the pollen tube. Through the pollen tube you can see the red color two male gametes. I have made by using red color. Male gametes comes inside the ovule through micropylar end. Yes. Ye jo niche wala end hai, jo ovule ka usko hum bolte hai micropyle, jo ki aapko further uh, in uh, your 11, 12 you have to study in the plus 2. Okay. But you should know a bit about it. Niche micropylar end or upar ka bolte hai chalajal end. Okay. To ye jo male gametes hai, do jo red color se I have just indicated, it enters through the micropylar end. Okay. I have just made this XL green color se mani XL ko denote kiya hai because it will be make you easier to understand the concept. Ab one male uh, gamete will fuse or we can say it will fertilize with the XL. So XL is N and this male gamete is also N that is haploid. Okay. Now the second male gamete will fuse with the polar nuclei which is also known as secondary nucleus and I have explained you it is 2N. Okay and why it is 2N I have already explained you. Yes. Because division ke samay wo cell separate nahi hua hai. Do cell attached hai. Okay. To ek ka N aur dusre ka N. To usko hum 2N bolte hai. That is it is known. It is 2N. Okay. Now fertilization. One male gamete. Fuse with XL, that is N in number, N plus N, that is haploid plus haploid. Same gamete is the process. It will form gigot. Yes, 2N, that is diploid. This is the first fertilization, the second one. Second male gamete, this one, will again fuse with the polar nuclei. I told you, that is 2N in number. Triple fusion, why it is triple fusion? Because 2N plus N, teen make it. Thin and milky will fuse karke and it will form endosperm that is 3N. It is also triploid. Okay. So syngamy plus triple fusion is double fertilization. This process ko hum double fertilization kyu bolte hai? Because egg fertilization mein one male gamete plus XL deta hai zygote. Dusre fertilization mein second male gamete polar nuclei ke saath fuse karke deta hai endosperm. So two times fertilization takes place so it is known as double fertilization so hope i am clear my dear children so today we have studied very important topic that is fertilization in plants and it is one of the according to me it is one of the simplest one because once you will understand this concept you will never forget it okay what is written over here male gamete plus female gamete gives zygote Jab jygot ban gaya, once the jygot is formed in, during this fertilization, would develop karega embryo me or embryo then again it will develop into organism. Okay? So hope you are clear about the fertilization, about the gametes, about the double fertilization. Okay? So in my next session, I will be explaining you about the seed dispersal. Until then, bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay connected and do not forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel, Learning Science with Chetna.